Hey, Real Estate Rockstars, what's up? It's your coach, Borino, with a short, super short video to answer your question. Why are your videos not pulling in? Why are they not attracting enough prospects, enough leads and clients and listings? And most importantly, why are they not making you money? Check this out. So before we can answer why the videos are not performing, let's ask why do people go on a place like Facebook or YouTube or any of these sites? What is it they're looking for? The answer is entertainment. They want to be entertained. Think about it. There is Joe standing in a line in the DMV with his smartphone and he's looking for distractions, he's looking for something fun to watch, for something to do. Or they're waiting in line in the grocery store or in the bank. Or they're sitting and enjoying their morning coffee and browsing Facebook, browsing YouTube, browsing social media. What are they looking for? Distractions. Most people who come to these websites are looking for entertainment. They're sitting at their boring jobs, at their boring desks, working on boring projects, answering to some boring boss, and what they're looking for is escape, for something fun to do, something that triggers the endorphins in the brain and says, yeah, dancing cat. If you know that the first thing people look for is entertainment, you cannot start your video with something traditional and boring because that triggers the same pattern that we see in so many, and not just real estate videos, videos in general. Boring, same old, same old. The moment people notice that, boom, you're gonna lose them, they're out, they're gone. So here is the rule. Your video must start with something fun, something engaging, something entertaining. Now, that doesn't mean you need to wear a clown costume or dance or put your dancing cat in the video. That's not necessary. Just something a little bit different. Just something a little bit unusual. Whether it's just a camera movement or unusual setting or music or just something that gets their attention, that grabs them. So think entertainment first. That's step one. Then two, your video must contain a content that's educational but not too much. You don't want to do War and Peace, seven volume on educating them on real estate or whatever the topic for buyers or sellers video is all about. Just something practical, small tip where they can go, hmm, that's interesting. I think I can do that. That's helpful to me. So entertainment, then education, and only then you're going to go to your call to action. Once you earn their attention and earn their trust and get them on your side, you can offer call to action. But even with the call to action, it needs to be something that benefits them, that benefits your viewer, the seller or the buyer, something that would make their life better or easier that you have to offer, you have a solution to. That's the secret. Hope you enjoyed this short little video. There's more where this came from. I enjoyed doing it for you. Hit me up. If you have any questions, let me know. Post in the comments here. Enjoy your day. I'll talk to you soon. Coach Borino signing off. Let's go get him. Bye, everybody.